yo, yo, what's good? This is your boy Tactics representing G Movement Crew. Putting together this little baby free tutorial to help my buddy G Man out from Whitby. Uh, he's recently now trying to get into the B Boy scene and he's been asking me how to do uh, baby freeze. So I thought I'd put together this little tutorial to help him out and help anyone else out online who may be having difficulty learning the baby, uh, baby freeze. Sorry. Um, I'm not an expert, but I do know how to do the baby freeze fairly well, so hopefully this tutorial helps you, and uh, good luck. Okay, the first thing before you start any form of dancing at all is getting your stretches done. It's very important. Doing the baby freezes can get really, really, really strenuous on your wrist, so it's always important to, you know, flex, work those out, you know, do a bunch of wrist uh, twists, you know, shake them out. Uh, also stretch out your arms because uh, you're going to be using them to support your weight obviously so uh, you want to get them nice and loosened out okay the first order of business before learning the baby freeze is getting down two main things the turtles and the stab position They're pretty much the same thing um, but uh, yeah first I'll demonstrate uh, the turtles okay so uh, let me just move this back a little bit. Okay, these are turtles, okay? Because I look like a turtle in them, right? And uh, this is a stab position. Pretty much the same concept, except you're, instead of stabbing with two hands, you're stabbing with one. So you're like this. You can use your head, doesn't matter. Not stabbing. Okay. Now, to do turtles, um, you're pretty much what you're doing is you're taking the elbows on both your arms, and you're pretty much stabbing it into your gut. Or as a, I usually, I normally like to stab it in the oblique area, uh, that little groove right there. You know, whatever is comfortable with you, as long as you get it relatively close to that area just enough um, position to uh, you know um, support your body weight okay so then you just get into it find your counterbalance and then hold it okay and uh, yeah so after you have the turtles down basically what you're gonna do is the same principle except you're only stabbing with one hand if you're uh, right-handed then you're gonna stab with your right left vice versa okay so basically you're gonna find that uh that little groove in your obliques and uh use this so use this as your left hand if you're doing it with stabbing with your right you use your left hand to uh support yourself okay but you're not gonna stab it's just gonna be right here and then you just fall right into the stab position and you can use your head to help keep your balance just like that Okay. Also, I'll demonstrate from another angle. So, if you're using your right hand, you're going to stab on the right side, just right into your oblique area or close to it. Use your, hand, your, your opposing hand, comes down, bring your head down, elevate your legs, and smile. No, I'll play, don't smile. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the stat, okay? So now we will get on to the baby freezes. Alright, so you know how to stab now. Now let's get into the baby freezes. So uh, basically when I was learning the baby freeze, it created so, many, so much difficulty for me. I mean, it, was, it looked like such an easy move, but I just couldn't get it. No matter how hard I tried. So, you know, I just kept practicing but I couldn't get it and so basically as I was learning it I would just kind of like play around with the, the move and try to like formulate a different move around it so you know I'd get into shuffling get into my stab position and instead of going up I would just be like boom, 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 boom. add that to my my footwork right so then I was just like okay you know I, I seem to have that down pretty easily so let me just uh, play around with it a little bit more. So um, I would get into footwork again. 
and then get back into my freeze stuff. Notice how my legs were on the ground when I was doing the shuffle. So basically, I would switch that up, and instead of being on the ground, I would elevate them and I'd kick, I'd like boom, 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 right? And I'd just kick. And I was just like, okay, uh, kind of get the concept now. So let me try it again. So I kept practicing like this until eventually, instead of just doing like multiple kicks, I just did one big kick and nailed it. So basically, you can take that move, practice your kicks, you know, just like that, so you get the feel of it. And then when you get into it, when you're doing the baby freeze, you're gonna wanna twist, kinda like, you're here, you're here facing the ground, and then when you're turning, you're basically turning your torso and your legs towards your left hand, if you're stabbing with your right, and bringing your right forward and having it rest on your right, on your left elbow, sorry. And basically, you know, using your head, at, using your head as counterbalance to support your body weight. And you're pretty much just stabbing, head to support yourself, twist, bring your right knee to your left elbow, and then the left just kind of lingers up in the air, okay? So, uh, yeah, just remember that twisting motion. You're in the stat position, okay? You get into it, put your head on the ground, and then just twist and kick. Kick your knee up as far as you can. If you need to go a little bit lower with your left, with your left hand, then just do that. And then just rest it on there, all right? Or what else? another thing that you can do is get into a stabbing freeze. I don't know what it's called, but it's basically where you're free like you're doing the same freeze on the oblique on the right side and then your your left knee is resting on your left elbow. So it's like this. So basically you're there like here and you're like that, okay? So it's helping you support your body weight even more. And then you make that transition where you kick with your right and you switch over like that. So you're gonna go, boom, okay? And then you're gonna switch again, okay? And then you're gonna kick up with your right, all right? Boom, boom. So, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, so there you have it, a little uh, baby freeze tutorial for you guys. Um, really hope it helped, and if it didn't, then I'm really sorry that I didn't explain it all that well. Um, if you guys need me to clear up anything, just uh, send me a message and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And uh, yeah, just keep practicing, keep stretching, and uh, yeah man, just uh, don't hurt yourself.